you come to the front door. Now you may check some of your ability to conceal things in your locker, for example. And you may check some of your free speech rights, but you don't check all of them. And you certainly don't check uh, our basic privacy rights. I think that the question that I would encourage you all to ask, the, the obviously a little bit at this point maybe embattled leaders of the independent school district in Northside, uh, how would it be possible not to violate the constitutional rights? And I think that, you know, it's, it's easy to think kids don't have them, but they still do. And, and the Supreme Court says that, as well, just as much as the ACLU and everybody else. So what you all are doing here is really important. Um, this is an issue that it, it takes a, a, a loud voice to stand up against, and it's good to see a loud voice coming together. So again, I just want to thank everyone for being here. I am going to be back Yay. as many times as it takes until this is gone. So I'm committing right now that I'm going to roll up my sleeves and I want to see this program, if not gone by the end of the school year, which I think is doable, I definitely want to see it gone by the end of this fiscal year. And in the past when I've said, you know what, I'm kind of tired of fussing around with this, I think I'm just going to put an end to it. We've been pretty darn successful with the other battles that we've fought. So, yeah, the same way that we put an end to human shipping in this country in 2007, which was a pretty, you know, we drove a stake through the heart of that. No one's been shipped since. That's what I want to see happen here, and it can be done. So we, we're going to need your help, and just a heads up, uh, in March, the third week in March, so exactly a month from now, I am going to be coming back. And I do want to call on each and every one of you at that point because I'm going to have something up my sleeve and I'm going to need your help with it. So uh, that's about all I'm going to say right now. But if you could please make sure that I have or Heather has or we have your contact information and we know how to reach you so that when we need to rally the troops, hopefully you can come and you can bring three or five or ten or twenty of your closest friends and then we can really do something big. How many people in this room were in San Marcos when we fought the dog chipping? Yeah, that was a pretty fun event. We had a couple hundred people out there. We had a candlelight vigil. We had a guitar playing outside of the city council meeting where they had voted to make microchip implants in dogs mandatory. We had so many people turn out that they didn't know what hit them. And on the spot, they got rid of the program. So um, trust me, Did these people can your, be moved. Would you put that on your site, uh, Dr. I, that, that's probably well, all over here. YouTube and all over the internet, but I can absolutely put that up there too to encourage people. Um, I, there's, there's so many successes that we've had and it might be a nice thing for people to be able to look at those. Um, I realize I'm going over my minute, but I do need to put out a special word of thanks to startpage.com. Startpage, uh, the world's most private search engine, a private alternative to Google, it, it sponsored this event tonight uh, along with Texans for Accountable Government. Uh, they paid to fly me out here. They paid to put me up in a hotel. Startpage has been a huge supporter of Andrea Hernandez, our executive team. Katie works with Startpage as well. Um, Startpage really has been a huge supporter behind the scenes of this and will continue to support you. So I just want to say a special thank you to Startpage.com for Don't Google it, Startpage. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I actually would really like to thank our moderator tonight, Joseph Finnegan. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah. And, and all the volunteers who helped to make this happen, it was definitely appreciated coming early and helping to set up. Appreciate that. And, and all the activists thus far, and as we move forward to stamp out, stop out this program here in San Antonio, and to pass meaningful statewide legislation that protects our children from this kind of dangerous technology. Um, so thank you again, Joseph. And can we all give it up again for Andrea Hernandez standing up for us? questions or need anything, please feel free to follow up with any of us. We have action alerts um, over by the uh, door with Katie, and we have, there are going to be committee hearings in the state legislature where we are going to want to testify, and we're going to need you to make the trip down there and let those legislators know why this is important to you and is important to your family. 
Speaking from your heart is the most important thing we can do. Um, so thank you very much for being here and as we move forward. Um, before everybody goes, I just want to let everybody know that uh, I got um, my, my, okay. my, my question was, uh, what can we look forward to here in the future, and uh, what can people do to get involved? Because uh, I know that some people want to do something, but they don't know a lot of times that they uh, shy away because they're not, they don't find like a network or. You know, yeah, I think you know which a fellowship, some people to help them out. I would recommend getting in touch with with Tag. Tag. Texas. Uh, I think that Heather's done a really good job organizing it. She's going to be the person that I'm going to be working with here in Texas okay. to really move this forward. So I would say probably reach out to chipfreeschools.com, okay. which is our website. Make sure that you're on their mailing list. Um, make sure that we have your contact information and make sure that if you want to be involved, if you're willing to come out to protest or volunteer or help us organize, help us canvas, go door to door, send money. You know, these are all things that would be immensely helpful. The big push is probably going to be coming in March and April, and we're thinking between now and the end of the legislative session, so if people are available in March and April, let us know, sign up. Okay, so you need people to be available around March or April? Yeah, the end of March and through the month of April. Like, to really so be, be looking out for that. Yeah. Gonna send out There's going to be legislative hearings where we can go to up in Austin to actually show up at the committee meetings and when they have the vote. There are going to be, there's probably going to be a protest at some point here in the future, which I'll be posted on, that okay. I'll be involved in. And, um, you know, I'm just getting on that mailing list so we can keep it informed. All right. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks so much. I'm glad you came out. All right.